What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, your host, Rex Guy, Dragon Squad. Bitch! Let me got this video I've seen popped up in my recommendations. Eight actors or actresses who have literally never been good in a movie. I seen Megan Fox on the cover. Like, Megan Fox is good. In the first Transformers, she was good. Second Transformers, like, it, the quality went down, but it was still good. She still should be in the series. No matter what the fuck. Y'all got, y'all, whatever beef you got going on with her, Michael Bay. This, this, this is about money, nigga. I'm trying to stack these bands. Like, the Transformers franchise. Once Sam left, no. No. Y'all, we, 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 bro, we gonna need Sam back, bro. We gonna, we gonna need my nigga Shia LaBeouf back. But, yeah, anyway. So that's all I gotta say. Let's hop into this hoe. I mean, I only know any other Mega Fox movies. I mean, I, I mean, I've seen her in other shit, but... I don't know. Probably, um... She probably was asked for some other ones. What exactly is or isn't a bad movie is up to you. For example, I like Hot Tub Time Machine, but you may watch it and go, that is utter sh**. It makes the world go round. Different opinions, different thoughts, different people. And isn't that lovely? The same goes for actors as well. You may watch <laughs> an actor in a film and think, wow, they were fantastic. Whereas I would look at them and go, that was a garbage. With all that said, there are some performances which I think we can all agree on are absolutely rubbish. Ooh, yeah, she Even can if you do get a kick Yeah, Ghostbusters Girl, Ghost yeah. Is when you notice the same actors keep popping up in these terrible roles. And then a light bulb goes off in your head where you realize there's a good chance that they've never starred in something where they could be considered good yet they keep getting work making fast is hot bro come on bro Simon from what culture and this is eight famous she's actors pretty who she was good never been good in a movie number eight ashton kutcher this what fair at first but really have a think about the no movies. Ashton. He, he might he might have some bad ones but he was good that was a good else that's a good that's one of my favorites the butterfly effect to a bunch of rom-coms that aren't really top viewing there's not really that many Ashton dude where's my car where's your car dude just go read some of the reviews about how people People see him in these. Yeah. Sheesh, that is brutal. He's done very well for himself though, so I assume yes, he's pretty so. happy. He's also a worldwide star. I don't think he cares about any of this, to be honest. Oh well. Number seven, Taylor Lautner. Taylor yeah, Lautner is already pretty, pretty booty cheeks. right out of the gates because he was in the Twilight series. Now, I've yeah. never seen those films. Me neither. They're about sad vampires who just want to be liked. So instantly I'm out. I am not watching them. Damn. But along with that nonsense, Taylor has also popped up in Grown Ups 2, Tracers, The Ridiculous Six, and Run the Tide. I ain't see Tracers. I'm not about to see that, though. Most of those movies sucked. Then there's Valentine's Day and Cheaper by the Dozen 2. And guess what? He sucks in them as well. Cheaper by the Dozen was good, too. That shit was good. of time to sort this out. At the moment, it is not looking good for Taylor. Having abs, surprisingly, this isn't enough. Number six, 50 Cent. I'm yeah. Sure 50 Cent would want he, he's a great, a, good, he's a pretty good rapper. First, but the real life Curtis but. Jackson has been in enough movies that we're allowed to critique him. And wouldn't yeah. you know it, they're all awful and he's not much better in them either. This shouldn't no, be sir. too much of a shock given the circumstances. But the fact he once played himself, well, you think you could get that down. How can you not be good at playing yourself? Yeah, you what just the fuck? Be Yourself. <laughs> I do respect Fiddy though, because he's dedicated to his craft. Dropping more than fifty pounds to play the role as a football player battling cancer and things fall apart, he has tried to get better. And you can't fault that. I mm. thought anyway, but the movie flopped uh. and critics absolutely laid into it. So apparently you can fault it. And you can fault it hard. Number five, Chris Klein. If we're to go on the roles Chris Klein has had so far, it seems likely he got them thanks to his looks and I guess. his smile. This is fine if your movie isn't serious, but unfortunately some casting directors haven't realized this and Chris has been thrown in at the deep end. When that happens, man, it is not good. Klein can seemingly only play that guy from American Pie. And that can mm. be awfully jarring if that's not the theme of your film. In fact, it actually breaks everything. Was it right down into the toilet? Then, of mm -hmm. course, there was Rollerball. Now, that does have a redeemable feature. Namely, the pro wrestling legend Paul Heyman has a cameo in it. But Klein is terrible throughout. And the movie is terrible. And everything is terrible. And to be honest, Chris Klein has been terrible in everything. Number four, Megan Fox. Oh, no. She, Megan she's Fox good. Not, she is a box office draw and has been in some huge films. Transformers and Teenage yes. Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, yeah, TMT? Probably not. The reason for that. 
Unfortunately, they are also both rubbish, and she wasn't good in the media. No, she was good in Transformers. And I get a small kick out of the Turtles franchise. They're not winning any Oscars anytime soon, and neither is she. Then there's the likes of This Is 40 and How to Lose Friends and Alienate People, and she treads war in those that. well enough. But it's not like Megan made these roles her own. She was kind of just there. Ultimately, she just hasn't been Lord, that in the movie yet. She's we'll good. Waiting, and then she'll just turn up in whatever old cartoon Michael Bay wants to bring back next. Number three, Jared Padalecki. Jared Padalecki was fine in Warner Brothers TV show Super. What? That's Are y'all serious? He did a good job and made a name for himself, and that's not easy. So he deserves all the credit in the world. What is not so hot is when he makes a rare venture into a film. Be it small parts, a la Flight of the Phoenix, or a bigger challenge, such as the Friday the 13th remake, Paladecki is worse than if a mop was involved. Seriously, you could put a mop in his place, and I don't think many people would notice the switch had even been made. Nah. For some reason, the world of movies just seems too much for him. If he could transfer Probably. that TV magic to yeah. the screen, then fine. So far, not so good. I guess, two, yeah. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Given that every movie in the 90s... She's good in TV shows. You think she'd be good in at least one of them. They're all varied, too. Ranging Hot right, right there, oh my lord. Slasher flicks, giving her plenty of opportunity to find her niche and then exploit that. There's every chance you may have enjoyed her in one of these. But if we yeah. do that thing the internet loves to do, e.g. look her films up on movie critic website Rotten Tomatoes, it's a telling on sign that one of Hewitt's movies has achieved more than a 53% rating. She's also been deemed the worst reviewed actress since 1980. Damn. Again, though, she's been kicking ass in Hollywood for years, so she's doing something right. Acting just isn't one of those things. Number one, Daniel Baldwin. It must suck to be a Baldwin. Well, yeah. Unless you're Alec. Everyone knows him, but the rest of yeah. them are interchangeable. They're like dominoes. The worst of the bunch in terms of performances has got to be Daniel Baldwin, though. I mean, oh yeah, I remember that. That was uh, fucking. Stephen has the usual uh, suspects where he's very good. Daniel has been in over 100. Damn, I forgot what that movie was called. I got that bitch. You probably didn't even know Daniel Baldwin. With the paparazzi, well, I think it's called paparazzi. The CV. There's a reason for that because no one talks about them because there's nothing to say. Know of any other actors who have lived That was a pretty good movie, movie, though, Paparazzi. Let us know in the comments below, and then over to like, share, and subscribe. You can even come tell me on Twitter at SimonMiller316. I'm Simon from What Culture, and I will chat to you again soon. Hey, 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 hey. Um. Woo! Very controversial. Damn. My boy Ashton Kutcher. I feel like he good. He funny. He's good. But I, I think it's more better in probably in, in in the TV show, I guess, than in the big screen. Like like yeah, like like that's a deciding factor. Like you you could be good as fuck in 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 a TV show. Like like Sam is. Um. Um, and fucking, yeah, and Ashton, but once it comes to the big screen, yeah, that, that shit could be a little bit tough. I haven't seen a Friday the 13th remake with him in it. I'm pretty sure he died, which I don't see how he would die, because he's like, deals with supernatural shit, so. And he's like the ideal fucking, like, whatchamacallit, like, uh, hero, or something, like, like, survivor, so. I don't know, like, like it, it like it, it, it won't look right seeing him die. I, I think I might have seen, seen, and he, he might have died. I'm not sure. Don't tell me in the comment section down below. But if you guys are like spoiling asshole kind, you guys might do it anyway. So it's probably whatever. But um, I might not see the movie anyway. But damn, Megan Fox is pretty good. Her hotness factor kind of makes up for it. But like I said, the first Transformer she was good, but then started to go down in the second one. Um, and then, um, what the fuck? What's the shit called? Um, and yeah, cause I haven't seen the, the TMNT, uh, the new shit, cause like, they look, they look dumb as fuck. Like, them shits look scary. What the fuck kind of kid trying to see these big ass, like, I know he's supposed to be teenager, but them niggas is like, scary like the cartoon is, is yeah like the cartoon like that wasn't scary like why the fuck the nigga look so damn real i mean i know he's supposed to look real but damn the motherfucker's scary shit but um yeah
Yeah, but but the Baldwin brothers, if you're not Alec, yeah, you yeah you you're pretty much fuck sir. Sorry, but you mean sorry. So um, I guess it's pretty accurate. Yeah. Yeah, because Ashton Kutcher probably did have some pretty bad films. I don't know, Dude, Where's My Car? <laughs> that, that was that was fun. That's one of my favorite movies. Dude, where's your car? Where's your car, dude? Like, me and my mom, we would fucking, like, we always made made that joke, like, whenever we would come out the grocery store and, and, and she couldn't find the damn car. I'd be like, dude, where's your car? And she'd be like, where's your car, dude? Like, that shit would be fire. So, I don't know. But, post your comments down below. Like, like a nigga said, um... Tell me who y'all think what kind of actor was is, is pretty ass in movies. Um, 50 Cent. Yeah. Stick, stick to rapping, my sir. Fuck you, me. Stick to rapping. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Just like if you didn't. Subscribe. I uh, upload every single day. And I'm finna be out of here, though. Dragon. Squad. Bitch! Yo. I'm the